imagine yourself walking down the bustling streets of the ancient Mesopotamian city of Lagash. It's been a long day of hard work in the city's pottery district. All you want is a cold drink and a moment to relax with your friends. There's a tavern not far from your workplace that serves very refreshing beer. How to keep the beverage temperature so low is beyond you. It seems like magic. As the sun begins to set, you walk down the narrow alleyways of Lagash. Your mind lost in a haze of exhaustion after a long day at work. The city is a huge metropolis and a true marvel of the Bronze Age. Located in the middle of a lush and sprawling marsh, it's like an ancient version of Venice. As you turn down a side street, the overpowering stench of smoke from the blazing kilns begins to fade, replaced by the savory scents of roasting meat and spices. The sound of laughter drifts toward you, drawing you towards a dimly lit building. You push open the creaking door and step inside, greeted by a warm and welcoming atmosphere. The place you are now seeing actually existed. It's an ancient tavern that archaeologists have recently found. The tavern is a buzz with activity, filled with workers and tradesmen from all walks of life. The room is illuminated by flickering oil lamps, casting a warm glow over the patrons. You take a look around. Your friends haven't shown up yet. You expected to find them already here, but they are late. Yikes, some stuff never changes. In one corner, a group of men huddle together, sharing stories and jokes over vessels of cloudy beer. Ancient Mesopotamians had a unique approach to enjoying drinking beer. They would sip it from large vessels using long reed straws. This was a practical solution to the suspended particles in the beer. Wait, what? Suspended particles? Yes, you heard right. In Sumer, beer was brewed using a combination of malt and bread. The bigger bread pieces were removed through filtration, yet some smaller particles remained unfiltered. With this ingenious technique, they could enjoy their drink without getting bread pieces in their mouth. One of the merry men, a long-bearded fisherman, shouts a joke. A dog walks into a bar and says, I cannot see a thing, I'll open this one. I know this joke is quite confusing, but it's a real ancient Sumerian joke whose true meaning is completely lost to us. In another corner of the room, a solitary sailor is deep in thought. The sailor is dressed in an unfamiliar garb and appears weary from his long sea journey. In Lagash, it's frequent to come across travelers from faraway lands. Some of them came from as far as modern-day India. In ancient Sumer, taverns like this one served as hubs of social interaction and information exchange. While the birthplace of writing was in this region, a significant portion of the population remained illiterate. With no access to newspapers or books, taverns were the go-to destination for keeping up with the latest news and gossip. But taverns could be a gathering place for shady people. So much so that the famous code of Hammurabi states, If bad characters gather in the house of a beer seller, and she does not arrest them and bring them to the palace. That beer seller shall be put to death. The tavern keeper finally greets you with a smile and offers you a mug of the most refreshingly cold beer you've ever tasted. You engage in some friendly chit chat with a woman who is always well informed about the latest news. She updates you on the current happenings and you listen with interest enjoying the easy conversation. But you always had a doubt. How can her beer be so cold in such hot weather? Hmm. The tavern keeper chuckles, her eyes twinkling with delight, 
and begins to explain the mysterious device she uses to keep her beer cool, the zir or pot-in-pot refrigerator. She points to a big pot buried inside the floor and starts explaining how it works. Inside the big pot, there's another one. The cavity between the two is filled with some sand that she wets with water. When she puts beer inside the inner pottery, its heat is transferred by the evaporating water. Hazir is a remarkable feat of engineering. Its efficiency is determined by the rate at which water evaporates within the pot. Therefore, in hot, dry environments like Mesopotamia, it works best. In some instances, the temperature inside the zir can be as much as 10 degrees Celsius lower than the outside temperature. From the courtyard, the inviting aroma of roasting fish and freshly baked bread fills your nostrils, making you quite hungry. Outside the tavern, there's a huge oven and an open-air cooking area. Your stomach growls with hunger, but something distracts you. The tavern falls silent as a guest stands in the center of the room. In a deep voice, he begins singing of the old days when King Gilgamesh ruled. While you listen to the old legends, the tavern keeper brings a plate with some roasted fish with bread. Truly, this tavern was the finest place in Lagash. So the next time you and your friends are out at the bar, try to keep in mind how closely related we are to the ancient Mesopotamians. And please, stay away from that awful Sumerian joke. In the next episode, the crazy plan to explore planet Mars from the 40s. Do not miss it, subscribe and hit the bell. See you next time in the mists of time.